Whenever I subscribe to a YouTube channel, it's usually because of like a specific video or I just like the presentation of the topic at hand. And I usually watch all of their content going forward. I don't really go back and watch older content from the people just because of time issues, really. I have a lot of different channels I'm subscribed to and I really like to watch their stuff. And I think a lot of people are like that. I think a lot of people subscribe to a channel and just watch all their content going forward. They don't necessarily go into the backlog of stuff. And it's a shame, you know, but unfortunately that's just how we are. You know, the world is always moving moving ahead. And, uh, you know, this channel has really taken off, you know, the past, I'd say year and a half or something, you know, a year ago today, I had about 10,000 subscribers. Now I have over 43,000. And so I don't expect all of you guys to go back and watch my older videos, but a lot of those videos I actually do like. And a lot of those videos I think came out really well. And it's unfortunate that people don't get a chance to see them. So I came up with an idea. There's a hip hop humor channel that I'm subscribed to called uh, crank Lewis. And he basically just re uploads stuff for new subscribers. And I thought, well, I could sort of do that, but call it like RGT85 Classics, where I just take a video, maybe like one video a month, and of an older video, you know, at least a year and a half, two years old, and re-upload it for you guys. So that way you get a chance to see a video that, yeah, maybe the quality's not as good as how the channel is now, but the content is still there and the message is still there. So I threw this up on the Facebook fan page. Everyone really seemed to like the idea. So this is gonna be episode one of RGT85 Classics. This is gonna be a video that I did on the Game Boy Color, sort of a retrospective, almost like a predated hardware pushers, because I talk about five games that I felt really pushed the hardware and looked really good on the Game Boy Color. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the first episode of RGT85 Classics. When it comes to handheld gaming, one thing is for sure, you don't mess with Nintendo. Since entering the handheld market in 1989, Nintendo has released a slew of handhelds that have long dominated any and all competitors. During the late 80s and the early 90s, the Game Boy variety dominated the handheld scene. You had the original gray brick, you had the slimmed down Game Boy Pocket, but essentially they were the same system. One was just a little more aesthetically pleasing. Then you had Sega come along with the Game Gear and they tried to mix up the game, adding some color and a front lit screen. Well, Nintendo wouldn't get on the front-lit screen bandwagon until the Game Boy Advance SP, which was a great system. I love this color variant as well. It's one of my pride and joys. But the color actually came before this system with the Game Boy Color, which is Nintendo's most underappreciated handheld. This thing was pretty freaking amazing, and not enough people give credit for it. So let's take a look at the history of the Game Boy Color, what it brought to the table, what the specs of it were, and let's take a look at some games as well. Released in 1998, the Game Boy Color was an improvement to the original Game Boy. The Game Boy Color offered an 8 MHz processor, which was twice of that of the original Game Boy, and also boasted three times as much memory as its predecessor. Allowing for 56 colors on screen at once, the system had over 32,000 colors available in its palette to choose from. Along with that, Original Game Boy games played on a Game Boy Color could be shown in 4, 7, or 10 color shading. In typical Nintendo fashion, the Game Boy Color received a ton of system variants as well, including some limited edition ones that are highly sought after collector's items to this day. The Game Boy Color obviously took inspiration from the Game Boy Pocket in the design of the system. They have very similar cuts, very similar lines. The only real difference is, is that the Game Boy Color was a little bit thicker where the batteries were. The Game Boy Color though was an amazing system. Not only could you add color to your library of Game Boy games such as Mega Man 3 here, but it had its own library of games with some fantastic games. There was over 460 games made just for the Game Boy Color. And that's a huge exclusive library, and I think a lot of people don't realize that. They kind of look at the Game Boy Color as an extension, when in actuality, it was an advancement over the Game Boy. With a library of over 460 games and no region locking, the Game Boy Color had no shortage of exclusives. There was a ton of stuff to play on the system, and a lot of people don't realize that. I want to talk about five must-own games in my opinion. I'm not necessarily saying that these are the best that the system has to offer, but these are five games that are enjoyable, fun, and gorgeous to look at and really push the system to its full capabilities. Street Fighter Alpha Warrior's Dreams is a technical marvel on the Game Boy Color. 
one of the finest 8-bit fighters ever released. The Game Boy Color version may have suffered in terms of audio, but the game managed to pack all 13 arcade characters, gorgeous animation, and an impressive list of moves and even advanced combos for all of your favorite Street Fighter characters. Mega Man Extreme is arguably one of the finest platformers on the Game Boy Color. With vibrant and colorful levels, smooth character animations, and a punishing difficulty, Mega Man Extreme carried the Mega Man X franchise from the Super Nintendo to the Game Boy Color in just a fantastic fashion. Metal Gear Solid on the Game Boy Color is not only one of the best games on the handheld, but one of the greatest handheld games ever. Retaining all of the stealth, fantastic storytelling, deep characters, and even animated cutscenes and codec conversations, Metal Gear Solid was one of the most advanced and console-like experiences on the Game Boy Color. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX is a port of the original Link's Awakening for the Game Boy, but the visual upgrades warranted many people to purchase this title for a second time. Link's Awakening DX has some of the most impressive use of color on the handheld, and could easily be mistaken for a Super Nintendo game. Add the fact that the original game was amazing to begin with, and it is a cornerstone of the Game Boy Color library. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for the Game Boy Color was much more than just a simple port of the NES Classic. This version offered new mini-games, a new overworld map, new artwork, save slots, and much more. Super Mario Bros. may be a game we have all played a million times, but there is more than enough new content in Super Mario Bros. Deluxe to revisit it on the Game Boy Color. At the end of the day, I really feel that the Game Boy Color is Nintendo's most underappreciated handheld. People are quick to lump it with a Game Boy Advance to Game Boy Advance SP, Nintendo DS to a Nintendo DSi, that sort of thing. Where there really wasn't a huge library of stuff, it was more enhancements on the system itself. Whereas this was its own individual system, with a huge library of awesome games, and it could play all your Game Boy games. So, definitely a super underappreciated system. I hope you learned something about this system, and if you have not picked up a Game Boy Color, pick one up. Sure, you can play all the games on the Game Boy Advance SP, but these are so cheap nowadays, you might as well add one to your collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Later. you guys enjoyed that video i hope you guys enjoy this idea if you do let me know in the comment section down below and like i said i'll do this once a month this won't be in lieu of new content or whatever it's just supplemental content additional content that you might have missed out on because you know when i made videos two years ago i didn't even have a thousand subscribers so i don't expect you know all of you newer guys to go watch those old videos so let me know what you think about this idea and that video in the comment section down below thank you for checking out this video thank you for being subscribed and i will catch you guys next time later